So now that the club championship is over, uh, I'm going to show you guys a way to shut down the strong H wing formation really as best you can. Now, the only exception is if you're playing Volterax himself, this is not going to work. I mean, the way that this guy runs this personnel in the Oakland playbook is really a thing of beauty. The way that he can use his motions um, and know, okay, so if I motion this guy out of this formation and then audible to this one in the other formation, everything is really, really quick. Really, really quick, and he just has everything down. Now, you're going to find a lot of people in Ultimate Team that are going to try to emulate this offense, okay? And they're going to be nowhere near as good or quick with their motions. He's just got everything down. So for these people that are running it a little bit slower, this is going to help anytime you know that they're going to snap the ball from the strong H wing formation. Now I showed this to Scheman uh, just before he played Techers, and I believe that his pick six was because of what I'm about to show you. Now I haven't talked to Scheman afterwards. I didn't want to bother him because he lost. Um, but based on everything that I've seen, I believe that he used this glitch to get that pick six. So let's take a look at it. Stretch alert X looky is obviously the main play in the formation, right? So you're going to want to be able to, you know, set up your defense when you see this formation. If they call the formation, that obviously gives you much better chance because you know that they're coming out in it. But what you really have to do is take a look at the formation and get used to looking at exactly this you know when it's the strong h-wing formation anytime they go to it okay anytime they're in it you need to understand that they're in it, it like quickly okay so this is what the formation looks like whether it's flipped or not you've got the fullback standing up in the backfield okay offset in that strong eye so let's say we want to set up our defense you know do whatever it is that we want to do and you could blitz everybody, you could be trying to man up guys, you know, who knows, right? You might want to man up, whatever it is that you want to do. And then maybe if they get a fullback pass, you want to man up uh, the fullback. So take a look at the icons, okay? They're in the stretch looky. And if you try to man up that fullback, you cannot. He does not have an icon, even if I press R1, right? I can man up the running back right that's what I just did right there is I go like this and I try to press R1 and it registers but it goes on the running back not the fullback right so the tell here is that when they're in the stretch when you try to man up any defender on anybody you're gonna see that the R1 icon is missing okay so now let's go to the halfback dive that is the other run in the formation. You guys already understand where we're going with this, right? You already know what it is. You could turn the video off now if you want to. You understand what's about to happen. So halfback dive, um, you come out in the same thing. You know, you try to set up your defense. But anytime they go to this formation, you really quickly just want to try to man up anybody on that fullback. And if you see that R1 icon, it's not the stretch that's the basic thing that you need to know is do you see r1 if the answer is yes it's not the stretch it could be a pass play it could be the dive it could be any other play except the stretch okay as you can see we'll let them run it it's the fullback dive right so when you're going to see in the gameplay clip is um, scheming setting up his defense and he understands again this is just hearsay I guess because I don't know for sure but you're seeing him set up the offense and he attacks the middle okay oops he comes down like this and he goes and then drops back into coverage over here because there's two things that techers like to do one is he like to run right so he's gonna run the stretch the dive or he really like the hitch route um, so if you're trying to man up a guy and you see that it's R1, okay, you see that he's there and he hasn't made a change, okay, like, because you can, 
like right here, I'm trying to like move the stick and I can't. So you can just like hold down on the stick if you want while you see this. If the guy makes a change in the play, then you just do it again. You just, you know, so you go like this, then you cancel L1. You see that he makes a change and then you do it again. And anytime they make a change, you just keep trying to man up the guy. It's really easy to do when you're in a game, but if they change formations, then it just becomes irrelevant. It's not useful. But for that strong H wing, this is the formation that people are wanting to use to be able to take advantage of these runs. You know, this is the tell that's going to help you stop it. You know, I would like to see some motions maybe to see if you can get the run game open up, but look for this hitch on the left side. Looks like he's going to put that post out there as a decoy, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him throw the hitch. And he does, oh, and it's picked! It's Deion Sanders! Let's With the go. ball in his right hand, Deion's on the move! You're not going to catch Let's Deion. Go. Neon Deion on be his be way! Be Touchdown, Skeeman! Come on, man! Come on! So, we go like this, right? We'll just, we'll put our user. That's what you pretty much always want to do, right? So whoever you're usering, try to man him up because then you can even man him up and it doesn't matter because you're usering him right if you man up somebody else on r1 then it can slow down what it is that you're trying to accomplish defensively because if he runs the stretch or if he runs a different pass play and he's you know on the fullback who might be blocking well now you're manned up and maybe that's not something that you want right so when we show the gameplay clip you're going to see that Scheman comes down aggressively on the dive and then tails back and picks off the hitch because he knows he doesn't he comes down like this because he knows he doesn't have to go over here because the icon is there so he knows 100% of the time that it's not a stretch okay so we're going to end the video with that clip and you can make up your own judgment um, I'll ask Scheman about it when I get a chance um, and I'll even show you here uh, out of Big Dime, okay, if we run like Big Dime 236, and we go to the stretch, or any pass play, right, if we do this, the icon has disappeared. So it doesn't matter about defensive formation or anything, it's just about that. And that's r like, it's a run pass tell. And anytime you can tell, especially, that the best play in the formation, which is the stretch, is not about to be run against you, that's huge, especially in regular teams.